In this game, black is Miyazawa Goro and white is Takemiya Masaki. Miyazawa Goro's style is very similar to Takemiya's style. If I didn't mention who's who, then you would assume black is Takemiya Masaki, but black is Miyazawa Goro. Takemiya approaches the corner and Miyazawa also defends with this high jump. And when white pulls back, Miyazawa forms this four star opening. Takemiya restricts black's growth by playing this two space jump and black splits over here and white applies pressure from here. The reason white doesn't apply pressure from here is because it's too small. If you're growing, might as well grow the big thing over there. From here, usually black's legs move will be something over here, but both players know that what's gonna decide the game is not these territories. It's the fight later on that happens in the middle. So in order to get some extra help in the middle, Miyazawa jumped. And white also jumped and black approaches this corner. White solidifies this corner and black invades this 3-3. White blocks toward this large side of the board and black extends. White extends. Black extends again. White tanets. Black hanes back. When white connects, black trying to get some extra ice spaces. White blocks. Black hanes. White hanes back. Black extends. White connects. And black cannot cut over here because there are too many cutting points. So black connects up over there and white connects too. If you look at this, although black got this corner, but this is too thick and white can grow this side of the board. And since white got stones over here too, these are getting affected too. If black wants to be safe, then black can spend another move over here trying to make sure they're not gonna get attacked. But Miyazawa plays over here. By playing this move, black is first restricting white's growth, but also growing middle of the board. Takemiya before defending over here peeps first. If black plays here, then there are a lot of centers over there for white. So black connects up and white defends the points over there. Black defends the corner and white plays over here. This move first is acting as a threat to these stones, but also it's erasing some of this potential over there. Black spends another move over here because white stones are too thick on the both sides. White plays this Kosumi trying to completely surround these stones. Black jumps and white attaches. This way, all the black stones are completely locked inside. When black extends over here, white just being safe plays this Kosumi slash small knights. Now, if black plays away, Let's say black plays something over here. Then white extending is a sente. Black needs to spend another move over here. Otherwise, white can just play here and capture the whole thing. So after black plays here, white can play here and attack these stones. These stones probably are not going to die, but even if it doesn't die, White is able to leak into Black's Moyo from here while attacking these stones. So when White plays here, Black spends another move just to make sure they're not gonna die. Now it's White's turn and White invades into Black's Moyo. Black attaches over here, White Tanes, and Black cuts. White before moving out these stones, White takes the corner. From here, the easiest way for black to respond would be capturing this stone. Even if white gets to live, black can just give away this corner and the game is still pretty even. In the actual game, black just blocked like this. White ataris, black extends, and white connects up. If you look at this, you may be wondering why didn't white play this? If black extends, then white can connect up. This is very good for white. But Takemiya Masaki was worried that when white ataris, black would cut. White has no choice but to play this. And Takemiya didn't want to get attacked like this. Black descends 
to secure the weaknesses over here. White extends. When black extends, white plays this Kosumi, asking, can I live over here? Black first surrounds white, and white extends again. Black extends, white tanets. When black tanets back, white forms a tiger's mouth, and we're gonna get a call here. Black is going to first take this call. White plays here. Black needs to answer. White captures this black stone. When black leans on this stone, black is first reducing white, second growing black, and also it's a cold threat, so that's a great move. White hands up. Black captures this stone. White extends. Black connects up. White captures this stone, and black makes a turn. Although this move is growing this part of the board, it's not threatening anything of white. So white takes this call. Next, black extends this stone, and Takemiya starts to try to live over here. But some people may say white should play this one before playing anything over there, because if black gets to play over here, then white's shape gets very sad. On top of that, when white plays here, black probably needs to spend another move, then white can go back and try to live on the corner. But in the actual game, white immediately tried to live in this corner. Black haunted, white haunted, black haunted again, white ataris this stone. When black connects, white ataris, now the corner is alive, and black plays away and makes this huge move. At this point, Although black got to play this move, the game is still pretty even. Black plays here, white hannes, and black simply connect. This move was kind of too slow. Black should have played this one. Even if white gets to play this, that is not a huge move. This is. But in the actual game, black simply connected up, trying to save this stone, and white plays over here. This is a huge move. This stone not only saves these two stones, but also allows white to further leak into black's potential over here. Black makes an exchange and hanes. And white also connects back this stone. Black ataris and white captures this stone and black hanes over here. This stone is kind of an overplay because there are too many white stones over here. From here, Takemiya Masaki is going to show you how to destroy a moyo. White first jumps, black plays a move over here, white clamps this stone. There's no way black is going to play like this. So black extends down, white cuts, black ataris. When white extends, black captures this stone. And from here, white extending and attaring this stone, they're all kind of sente because white could surround these black stones. But before doing that, white plays over here. If black simply defends like this, then black is going to lose by points. So black has no choice but to attack. White extends. When white extends, since the arch over here is too nasty, black spends another move over there. Now, it seems like white should save these two stones. But Takemiya was so sure that these two stones are not going to die, white spends another move to secure this part of the board. Since white didn't save these stones, black tries to fully surround these white stones. White plays this Kosumi, black jumps, and white cannot play this push because as soon as black forms this tiger's mouth, Black gets too thick and it's not good for these white stones. So instead of pushing, white simply extended. And now, black hannes trying to forcefully cut off the connection. White hannes again. And when you hannes over here, you see why this move was a problematic move because this cut can get nasty. Black has no choice but to connect up white ataris. Again, black has to connect. White ataris, black extend, white ataris, black extends, white ataris again. Black 
Atari's this white stone. White instead of saving that stone, white connects, and white is connected to this group over here. Black captures this stone, and white jumps in to further erase black's moyo. Black peeps, white pulls back, black peeps again, white connects, and black jumps to try to save this part of the board, and white starts to play huge endgames. After this moyo got destroyed, black is losing by points. So black has to try to do something, so black hanes over here to see what's up. White Ataris, when black extends, white Ataris, black pushes first, when white connects, black comes out, white Ataris, black extends, white connects back, this stone, trying to capture these stones, black Ataris, white extends, black tightens white's liberty, white Ataris this stone, black Ataris white stones, white captures this, Black Ataris again, and white connects. Now black pulls back this stone to get these a bit thicker. White Ataris this, black connects. Now white makes a turn. Next, white is going to Atari and capture these five stones. So black plays this Tiger's Mouse slash Kosumi, and white settles by Atariing this stone. Black saves the corner. White Ataris first, black connects. White Peeps, black connects, and white Ataris, black cuts over here, white Ataris, because there is a stone over here, black playing here is a sentin. Black Kosumi, white push, when black blocks, white is looking for this Atari, so black connects up, white captures this stone, black Ataris, white connects up, black plays another Kosumi, white push, Black blocks, and when white pushes here, Miyazawa Goro thought there are not enough points for him and resigned. In this game, Takemiya Masaki shows us he is not only the greatest at cosmic style, he also is great at breaking cosmic style. Alright, that's it for today's video, and we'll see you next time with another great video. So, see you soon, stay alive.